Hello and welcome. You're watching the Social Network. Now the movie Lunchbox is in the news again. Why? Well, the Film Federation of India has decided to react to the much publicized disappointment at the Lunchbox not being selected as India's entry for the Oscars. It sent a very stern letter to Ritesh Patra, the director of the Lunchbox, demanding an unconditional apology from him for making derogatory remarks about the panel that chose Gyan Korea's The Good Road over the lunchbox. Now let's quickly have a look at some of the tweets that FFI has in fact uh, uh, taken some amount of offence at. Let's just try to bring that up over here. Ritesh Patra had tweeted using social media and talked about some of his frustration. He said thanks for the love for the lunchbox. The mediocrity of the people who make these decisions frustrates them. We will not let it frustrate us. He also then uh, uh, he also then goes on to talk about the fact that congrats to the good road. Hope it makes it all the way. Else it will be a lost chance by FFI appointed jury that lacks vision. Hope I'm wrong. Remember, we've also seen uh, uh, many uh, reactions on that particular movie by Karan Johar and, of course, uh, Anurag Kashyap, who had also tweeted uh, about, the, about their disappointment that Lunchbox was not, in fact, selected. Anurag Kashyap had tweeted saying that I don't know who the federation is, but it goes to show why we completely lack the understanding to make films that can travel across borders. And just to bring up uh, that, uh, that uh, letter that the FFI has, in fact, written to Ritesh uh, Batra, that's also on your screens at the moment. And uh, it has, in fact, asked him to, um, uh, you know, that they have, in fact, uh, gone through the Twitter and Facebook posts about the selection of the Good Road. And as a citizen of a democratic country, you have every right to express yourself. But when a certain boundary is crossed time and again, one cannot take it lying down, and that's why they have demanded an apology. All right, so uh, we'll talk about that crossing the boundary in just a bit, but first let's listen into what Amit has sent us on this particular controversy. I think one very interesting thing that has come out from Ritesh Batra's uh, lunchbox debate is that it has brought attention on the independent filmmaker and uh, the nature of independent filmmaking. So I think it's, it's high time that now we go into this debate and see what really constitutes an independent film. Is it, is it just the kind of film that a filmmaker wants to make the subject, the theme, or is it also about the money and where the money is coming from? Today, offbeat films get finances from several international sources something an independent um, filmmaker would also typically do. But an offbeat film made with independent finances alone doesn't make independent cinema. So it's more, um, more about uh, clear departures a film makes from um, commercially viable themes that mainstream industry supports. So independent cinema for me uh, would be something where I don't have to um, compromise on the subject and at the same time I can question the norms if I want to, freely. Alright, uh, to talk a little bit more about that, we're also joined by Anand Gandhi, he's the director of Ship of Theseus and he joins us from the capital, remember at the time when Ship of Theseus was uh, released, uh, Anand was, in, uh, was on the social network as well and we had talked about it being an entry to the Oscars, I'm sure he'll have a lot to say about that and we're also joined in the studio by Kunal Majumdar who is the online editor with uh, Tehelka. Anand, uh, I want to start with you first. Uh, you know, uh, the Lunchbox and the entire team of Lunchbox has left no stone unturned in expressing their disappointment that their film was not selected for the Oscars. And one of the platforms they've used excessively is social media. They've tweeted a lot. Every single person has tweeted excessively about their disappointment. And that's created a huge amount of outrage about the fact that Lunchbox was not selected. What, what, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I don't really know what's going on. Um, I, uh, I've, been, I've been a little away from this entire um, uh, conversation that I've, I've just vaguely heard of this, this conversation that has been taking place. Uh, when every once in a while somebody posts on my timeline asking me what happened to Ship of Theseus and, and why wasn't it uh, India's entry and I, uh, I mean, Ship of Thesis was also in the running, was also, uh, uh, was also put out there for consideration.